Hey Collective, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a pick a card on messages from the center of the galaxy or more so our galactic center. And to start off, I really want to say I really, really appreciate the 1000 subscribers that have come to the channel. All of you are so wonderful and beautiful. Thank you for all of the likes, the comments, the shares even just everything the donations as well everything is just so wonderfully aligned i hope your day your night evening or morning has been going beautiful hope you've been having a wonderful day i know i just keep wanting to repeat myself but let's get into these piles pile number one we have iceland spar I'm so excited for this reading as well. There's something about it. Pound number two is Titanium Quartz. She's a little washed or weathered. She was outside. But pound number three, we have Angelite. Pound number four, we have tumbled spirit quartz or lavender quartz. But yes, timestamps are in the description as well as everything else you may want to know about readings, personal readings, and everything else is all in the description. But I'll see you at your pile or piles for messages from and what you need to know from the Galactic Center. Hey, pound number one, if you have chosen this Iceland Spar, then this is your reading. Off bet, I'm seeing a whole bunch of rainbows. Of course, there's rainbows all in here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'm seeing a lot of rainbows as well as I was really getting like real happy. I was getting super happy. Interesting. A piece of it just fell onto the card. Okay, spirit, I'm going to let you do what you got to do. Actually, we'll set this here. But I was getting this energy of happiness. Pure bliss, maybe, even, is what I'm hearing. And just so you know, these are messages from the galactic center. Like, that black hole that's at the center of the Milky Way. We're pulling energies from that for your reading today. So... Even now, I'm seeing like a radio coming from your pile in general, a radial of energy. Maybe this could be your energy as well. Pile number one. And this is what the Galactic Center wants you to know is that you're radiating. I feel like you're radiating some kind of light, maybe some kind of truth is what I'm hearing, that you're radiating some kind of light shall I say a rainbow of light your aura gives off this kind of energy of a rainbow I just keep wanting to say rainbow 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 maybe you're seeing rainbows a lot but let's see we have some oracle um, we have two tarot cards these right here um, all the rest is oracle <sighs> the energies always feel so high vibe when I tap into the collective so I always get this energy of rising like just elevating but let's see what we have for you look <laughs> didn't I say you were radiating your truth pile number one you know, here we have temple of truth a very beautiful card we have throat chakra authenticity and self expression I really feel like as of recently pile number one You've been, look, there's even like a radial of energy coming from this water. Like, I feel like there has been this floodgate, almost like an overflow of some form. Of, I don't even want to say emotions, but I love this like energy. It's reminding me of the moon card. 
but it's also reminding me of gateways opening for you. The sky almost looked rainbow to me, so I feel like either confirmation or a sign to let you know that you are expressing your truth and being in your authenticity will be rainbows, pile number one. And I feel like that's what the Galactic Center wants you to know. You know, search up a YouTube video on the Galactic Center of the Milky Way. It was very intriguing to me just to see that something like that really exists. It's, you know, my perspective. I find it to be true. The truest, right? I feel like you are that. You could be using your throat chakra for many of things. You could be literally just being your authentic self in the current moment. I'm hearing you are in alignment with your higher self. You are doing the things that God, the universe, you know, asks of you to do. You're not being stubborn, is what I'm hearing. Look at this beautiful energy. You have shined your light. And that's that self-expression kind of energy. You're expressing your authentic self. And then again, with this radial of energy that's coming from you, pile number one, it's um, healing is what I'm going to say. It's very touching as well. I feel like you have powerful hands, a powerful vessel if anything, a very powerful vessel. You could have been a mermaid in a past life. You could resonate with mermaids currently in the moment. Your chakras are definitely aligned, pile number one. I do definitely get this energy that due to your chakras being so aligned, you're able to be in this energy of authenticity, self-expression being able to actually shine your light and it's crazy because rainbow like the <laughs> light itself is white but when you split light up you get the rainbow colors so it's almost like you're really expressing all facets of yourself in the current moment or soon to come temple of truth you are definitely standing in this truth this power is what i keep hearing we have ancestral lineages this is coming from and it's funny because I said something about the mermaids as well. But this is coming from past life energy that you're awakening for yourself. This truth, this authenticity. I get this energy that working with clear crystals, not clear quartz. Clear quartz is one of the crystals, but working with clear crystals around this time could be of importance is what I'm hearing. I'm getting this energy of turmoil as well, but at the same time, I feel like through this turmoil, all, through this rush of energy that you may be feeling, through this abundance of energy, it may feel intense, is what I'm hearing. It may feel like your insides as well as your outsides are churning, but it's almost just like you're shining your light. I feel like you're transforming, pile number one as well, more into this temple of truth. If you haven't been expressing your authenticity around these times, the Galactic Center wants you to express your truth. And it's interesting because 44 and 35, they both reduce to an eight. So I'm getting 88. You also have 44. So two Ascended Masters have already been here. 88 is also that abundant, infinite energy, which kind of does remind me of the Galactic Center with the way and how it is. Black hole energy deep energy it's crazy because this is pisces season currently when i'm doing this video it's timeless but it's very deep and piscean energy that i feel like you're i feel like you're pulling from a well of energy pound number one that's allowing you to express your truest self let's see Mm, you're a star seed. You could resonate with being a star seed as well. You could be masculine, or you could just be more in a masculine energy currently in the moment. It's just energy that I'm picking up on just because it's a masculine figure right here. There's a feminine figure here as well, so you do give a balanced energy. I am seeing three, four, five in my mind's eye. I saw seven, four, three on the timestamp. This could be numbers that you could be searching up for angel messages to see what they may be wanting you to know in the current times. 
but this is messages from the galactic center and i love so far how it's so much color vibrance rainbow like energy and even in almost many of the cars there's been this radial of energy this lightning electricity that's coming from your vessel i'm also getting called to say that you are calling in some very high vibrational things coming towards this earth right now this 3d plane that we're sitting in i feel like wherever you are currently whenever you may be watching this video upon number one there are things coming in towards you that may seem miraculous that may seem super abundant i keep wanting to say like the dam is open just because this energy reminds me of like a dam and how the doorway has been open there's almost like this flood of truth that's coming in towards you that's meant for your soul is what i'm hearing it says the universe opens through you is what this card says and it's funny how we were talking about gates being open it's also ironic for what might be coming up next <laughs> You might want to stay tuned, Pond number one. I got a video coming out after this one, of course. My nose just kind of started to twitch a little bit. I'm going to be doing something about the universe. So let's get into the tarot for you. We have new beginnings. I love this. I genuinely love this. This is like beautiful. I'm on top of the world energies like. And it's new beginnings, of course. This is the full energy having to take um, new steps forward, kind of Aries and Uranus kind of energy, taking a step forward, but not even knowing exactly where it'll take you. That's that miraculous energy that I'm kind of picking up on as well. I also get this energy that your ancestors want you to take this new leap of faith right here with this new beginnings towards whatever it may be for you. But this is just an energy from the galactic center. I feel like the galactic center has an, a knowing of all things like it's so deep so i really do get this energy that the galactic center almost has its eyes on you is what i'm hearing it knows of your power it knows of your worth it knows of what you can do right now in these times for the planet for yourself mm, i did say something about lightning I have, I'm not sure, it was like right here, this kind of reminds me of lightning kind of energies, but literally, this is the tower, you literally have some big energies, pile number one, and this is what the galactic center wants you to know, I feel like I want to look deeper into that card, we do have a three up here, reminds me of the empress energy, so then again, all of that abundant energy that's coming in for you, it's going to be very miraculous, I am definitely seeing there's a scorpion down here at the bottom as well as I believe no there's two scorpions you could be a Scorpio watching but it does give this deep deep waters this deep transformation energy that's going on currently in the moment hmm I'm hearing play chess not play chess but like something strategic may be going on currently in the moment that's behind the scenes that the universe even may be working with right now i'm also getting called to the black and white of both of these cards right here so it's very interesting to see that i really am getting this um high priest energy high priestess energy very connected very universal like i feel like the energy that you hold within yourself is very prominent primordial we have grounding card number 15 stop because here's card number 16 right here it's interesting energies it's progressive energy as well Oh, uh, ancestral. It's funny how it's even going right here with ancestral lineages. I feel like you have been. I'm hearing showing veneration towards your ancestors, almost like through the acts of kindness that you've been giving to even the unseen realm. I feel like there are gifts coming in towards you. There could also be an energy to ground yourself due to just how much of a high vibration you are. 
know to pull in these downloads through your chakras it doesn't matter so much of if you start from the bottom up or top down just be sure to work with your chakras work with your vessel respect your vessel is what i'm hearing feeding it the right things you know just things of that nature because you're in such of a high vibratory state currently at the moment right now is what i'm picking up it's currently 111 on the clock so indeed follow your intuition at all times your intuition i feel like is what inevitably will lead you to the abundance that's set in stone for you we have cancer look at this two 16s and a 15 so you have 77 88 44 very high vibrational many ascended masters search up these ascended masters as well 11 11 Ooh, isn't that crazy i didn't even know why i just said that i just straight up said 11 11 <clears throat> i'm not gonna say on accident because i know it was for a reason that could resonate with you i feel like you're making wishes in the moment very balanced being and very connected to your emotions is what i'm hearing and very protective of your own energy you could be a cancer watching excuse me you have a lot of support in this endeavor and a lot of this energy not just per se from the galactic center at the center of our galaxy more so you have that support plus angelic support is what i'm hearing ancestral support it could even be physical support like you genuinely have friends family those around you that want to see what you have to bring to the earth in its most full and authentic form you are very connected to your roots i don't know i just really feel those energies very connected here we have virgo card number six it's funny i was trying to think if you had another six right because at this point i feel like all the ascendant masters are within your own energies right now pound number one you have virgo you could be a virgo watching or you have a lot of virgo cancer placements it's funny because you could have scorpio placements as well aries placements astrology is all up in here because we are talking about the galactic center the very center of the milky way so it's not <laughs> but then again we are all signs in a sense from my perspective i was getting these kind of energies i definitely was especially here with the digest because you do have six and six oh yeah 66 77 but we have empathic starseed, energetic sovereignty, absorbing what's not yours, right? I really do feel like you have to be, um, what's the word, spirit? You have to be discerning, use divine discernment when ingesting energies be sure to always i feel like that's why this grounded energy is right here because they may want you to release certain things that do not belong to you just for the sake of you being an empathic star seed you could have connected to something that might have you in a certain energy currently at the moment Found number one that when you do ground you'll become you'll be able to understand and feel these energies of shining your light being a star seed starting new beginnings you know even with this lightning energy and it's right up under the empathic star seed because when because this is the energy of um divine intervention is what i'm hearing like this can't be stopped also is what i'm hearing as well there's so much abundance especially with this wheat right here meant for you through this divine intervention something had to get let go of broken down in order to get built back up in a way that made you feel more like a star seed made you feel more connected to the things that the universe is opening up for you pound number one
Shall we read one of these from the book? I actually feel like it's between these two. Ancestral lineages and star seed. It could be both. Oh gosh. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, you could definitely have Piscean placements that are being aspected currently in the moment. My feet just kind of started to do a little thing. So just kind of thought I would express that. Where in the heavens? It might, we might have to just read the star seed. Because I'm not quite sure where. Uh, yeah, I'm over here throwing stuff all over the place. Was that it? It is. Yep. I found it. All right, pile number one. Oops. I do apologize. I genuinely do apologize. Well, that's a lot of space. Anyway. That's an interesting thing to say. I said you have, that's a lot of space. Maybe there's quite literally a lot of space to fill within your own soul that the galactic center is wanting to fill you up with such abundant energy so that you can start these new beginnings for yourself. Because right after that lightning strikes from this tower energy, it's gonna feel like new things are gonna be open for you. But let's see. Mm. Oh, let's see. Oh, I, I have to go further back and read more. You are a whole heart. You are a wholeheartedly starseed. Wow, a divine child of the cosmos, with your home stretching far beyond the confines of your planet. We have observed you all closely, even in your darkest cycles. Knowing we were limited with a hands-off approach to your evolution, this hands-off approach was initiated through the Galactic Star Councils, for it was clear through experience that liberation is always permanent when a species unlocks this potential through activating their soul gifts themselves. This path of non-intervention, interesting, it says non-intervention and then you have divine intervention, Although challenging, resulted in an illuminated thread of teachers remaining intact on Earth, holding down a torch of illuminated consciousness. Even in the darkest periods of your species, this has advanced into large field of light, held in the essence of each of you all in the Starseed Collective. When Starseeds begin to incarnate on any planet, specifically in high numbers like this time on Earth, it often serves as the per precursor that a society is about to enter into a galactic awareness and awaken culture. Through this understanding, know that you have been placed here as part of the Grand Star Seed mission, sent here to transform the entire plane of existence through the vibratory frequency that is you. I feel like that's why they want you to shine your light and be in your authentic truth. This card of Star Seed arrives when you are carrying revolutionary ideas. Hold an empowered vision and have a self-expression that is needed for this current moment of the collective. You have been embedded into this reality to serve a grand purpose through your authentic soul calling. Authentic, you have authenticity. And it is time to activate your full potential now. Honor these star codes within yourself and grant yourself the ability to fully be yourself without limitation. Through this allowance of full authenticity, the seeds of the star being <laughs> the seeds of the star begins to sprout within, growing into high dimensional fruit for all future generations to receive. The universe opens through you. It's so interesting because additional meanings are self-expression. You have self-expression literally right here. Creative endeavors, own your power, self-worth, originality, leadership doors opening time of empowerment hmm do you want to do this it's, it's an optional exercise hmm. no, you guys got it i know you guys have it i know you do all you have to do is genuinely be yourself act within an authentic self-expressive state and you'll be fine it's funny how you have i feel as well as empathic star seed so that's very interesting because you are an empathic star seed. I feel like you feel these energies, but maybe could not have been able to put a word to it. So 
So let's see with this ancestral lineages. And then we're gonna go ahead and move on to pound number two and see what's up. Because I'm so interested in these piles. Your pile is, you have such a very beautiful energy. Okay, portal to ancestral lineages. Keywords, ancestors, tribe, lineage, ancient wisdom, origin. It's, it literally says precursor. Precursor. Well, I, I feel like we just said something about a precursor. And then we have shamanism. Use this portal to connect to your ancestors, to their ancient wisdom and experience. So this is a portal card. So you can literally just be looking at it and on a busy you're getting connected to your ancestors. Declaration of intent. I honor and respect the wisdom my ancestors and soul tribe are conveying through sacred ceremony, dreams, and ritual. Your ancestors are at your service at this time in the evolution of earth, humanity, and the cosmos. These are messages from the Galactic Center. Along with your vast soul tribe, they bring with them ancient wisdom, forgotten and lost through the stages of human development where the connection to all that is was forfeited for material accumulation and technological automation. Their experiences show you both what is and what is not in the highest good for all life. They have learned this lesson. Allow them to teach it to you. This portal will open a gateway through which interchange of wisdom and experience can be shared, integrating ancient traditions with modern challenges. Find sacred ways in which you can connect to them whether it be through shamanic ceremonies or simply through deep meditative work. So, beautiful messages, pile number one. I hope that you enjoy. If you did, be sure to give the video a like, comment, subscribe if you feel called to. And I love you, genuinely. You are very beautiful and connected to the divine in such a way that's almost unique, very unique. And these are messages from the Galactic Center to you. So I'll see you around. Wait. I know I'm such a perfected kind of man. I just like to, I like them to look a certain way. Bam. All right. See you. Hey, pile number two. If you have chosen this titanium quartz, then this is your pile. We're going to see what does the Galactic Center want you to know right now. Before I started your reading, I saw one, two, three, four, five. So it really was given this energy of progressive movement. I'm really getting this multifaceted energy as well as the color purple. I'm seeing beads in my third eye. As well as, as this energy of being crowned, being crowned with a gem embedded crown. It's just, these are things that I'm seeing right now. But let's see. Let's see what messages does the galactic center, the very center of the Milky Way, want you to know right now, pawn number two. There's definitely this high vibration that I'm picking up on as well. This could either be you or just the energy in general around you that I'm picking up on. It's very high vibrational. But let's see. We have Oracle as well as two tarot cards, these two right here, and then we have more Oracle. So let's see. I'm seeing zero, one, two, three on the timestamp for you, pound number two. So again, with that one, two, three, four, five that I saw before, I'm getting this energy that you are on the right track. If that's something that you have been wondering, the Galactic Center is letting you know that you are moving forward. I just keep seeing right path, right path, right track. You've made the right decision kind of energies. So let's see. We have Earth Star activation. It's definitely given that energy of being crowned, especially with the energies of the arms being up, kind of a bringing down kind of energy. We have anchoring, grounded action, as well as Isis energy. Isis or Aset could be an, a deity that you work with currently in the times right now. Or she has come through in this reading which is interesting that i'm hearing i feel like working with your merkaba could be of importance currently at the moment if there if that's something that you don't understand or know how to work with i suggest 
searching it up 100% just straight up Merkaba, um practices I'm hearing rib cage as well or just the abdominal area the really your lower chakras including your earth star is what I'm picking up on so that would be your sacral I'm going to include solar plexus your root or base chakra as well as your earth star chakra I feel like all of that is being fine-tuned illuminated um risen is what I'm hearing we have freedom this energy of rising up as well with the dragonfly going forward I'm definitely getting this pull-in energy like this energy of pulling in almost as if you are yeah I'm seeing a spider web as well almost like you're cultivating your um, soul family your soul familia is what I'm hearing mm, I'm, I'm seeing plants almost like you may have recently bought plants or you're going to get a plant in the coming two to five days number seven can be important to you as well but this energy of freedom it's funny because you have anchoring as well as freedom either I feel like you're anchoring in this energy of freedom and that's what the galactic center wants you to know right now upon number two oh look at this rising up energy that i was speaking about you have spiritual rebirth i feel genuinely that you're like almost rising just like this phoenix in a more powerful way this blue does really speak of truth to me i feel like truth and freedom for you upon number two kind of tie in with one another then again with that sacral as well as root and solar plexus energy that I was speaking up on this all of that is right here in this card like there's definitely some form of spiritual rebirth happening for you it's just very interesting that you have this earth star activation with grounded action energy you're taking some practical action some kind of grounded energy action that's bringing about this spiritual rebirth this freedom for yourself I feel like you're definitely anchoring in this new light is what I'm hearing you are this new light from you standing in your truth is what I'm hearing there's things that are going to be rebirthed spiritually within your aura within you you do have card number 34 with the merge in the depths rest the treasures which is very interesting because the earth star chakra is right beneath our feet it's what connects us to mother Gaia the earth the 3d plane per se and you have the merge like I really do feel like you are connecting more with that of a more galactical consciousness as well as one that is earthly so I feel like you're balancing both worlds is what I'm hearing your light shines like a star pound number two your vibration is emitted almost like a pillar of light from the earth is what I'm seeing Orion could be an energy for you as well so let's go into the tarot we literally have triumphant success there's definitely this energy of you coming from the depth almost like a lotus flower you know growing from the mud to show such a beautiful flower and I feel like your throat your truth cuts through air like it cuts through things unseen when you speak i feel like you speak not just for yourself but for your your web of connections you speak for your guys you speak for your ancestors you almost in a sense don't just speak for yourself but i do get this energy of self-analyzation maybe it's kind of giving page of swords kind of energy as well but you definitely have triumphant success meaning that there is victory there is movement forward is what i'm hearing from the galactic center look at this beautiful energy you have delight very delightful energy you are sitting in palm number two like the sun right here is very prominent to me and then the joyous energy that just emits from this card as well as this butterfly right here 
this fey like energy and the path to come ahead i feel like there's so much freedom literally there's freedom delight spiritual rebirth triumphant success this is positive movement forward is what i'm hearing you are literally merging with the divine is what i'm hearing you have paradigm shift a literal, a literal shift of perception a shift of being is right up under spiritual rebirth like i feel like the guys the ancestors even the galactic center is opening up doors specifically for you pound number two i do as well get this energy of being conscious being very conscious of the steps that you make like i feel like that's that grounded action energy and i feel like that's what's even led you to this moment this moment of spiritual rebirth this moment of paradigm shifts happening for you that are leading you towards your delight you are quite literally merging with your best self is what i'm hearing the self that brings you about great success and freedom great stability as well as what i'm hearing very illuminate oh pile number two this is beautiful energy you have blessings and grand trying with card number 46 which reminds me of 10 which also speaks of endings and new beginnings which reduces to a one and you do have one right here i'm seeing three seven four i'm seeing 44 as well you have 77 here but that's very interesting in your current chart at the moment you could be experiencing a grand trine at the moment with any of the planetary bodies in the system but i am definitely getting the, the stars are aligning for you pound number two there's this energy that you're about to experience something very great very miraculous it might not even seem like it at first because many of times when we do go through a spiritual rebirth or a paradigm shift there may be something on the other side that we were not really expecting but i do get this energy to be optimistic because the sun is here let's see hmm we have card number 33 south note with the past because i did reference the um your chart i personally would suggest looking at where your south node is it could be aspected with this grand shrine but as well i do get this energy that you are moving like this past energy almost doesn't affect you is what i'm hearing you have triumphant success over the past even with this 33 with the master healer i feel like you're healing from the past you aren't allowing the past to so much dictate your actions you're more so like merging your past with your present allowing it to not only dictate your future but like there's this energy of you being in balance with all facets of yourself palm number two and even with this purple energy right here in the car and even purple right here i feel like you're very connected to your intuition even if you may be in like now letting your intuition guide you you do have star brothers here i love that the stars are definitely like connecting with you and it's funny because you definitely look at this i feel like you i have to pull a card i have to pull a card because even here you have horus energy as well as isis energy it's giving it that to the galactic center the galactic center itself views you almost as a child not even a child like that but it views you as its own kin if you could literally be an old old soul one that has much knowledge one that's very connected to the primordial things of life and i feel like that's what this merge is about in the depths rest the treasures in the very depths of our galaxy which at the very center holds the black hole I feel like wanting to understand more about those energies or just being creative with your own imagination can allow you to experience these depths that hold the treasures. I'm also hearing that some of you that have chose this pile have actually already been to the galactic center just as an energy. And I feel like right now what's about to be awakened within you is the energy that you've brung back this could literally be subconscious 
But I definitely do feel like there's definitely about to be a paradigm shift, some form of spiritual awakening for you, pile number two. That's going to be delightful and going to bring blessings for you. I feel like the past is in the past. You have triumphant success over all things, many really. But you have protection as well, loyalty, safety, and trust, as well as Isis energy. I'm going to pull from the Isis deck because no way you have Horus and Isis that came through for you. So let's see from the Galactic Center, as well as Isis, Horus, Osiris. Let's see what messages do they have for you. Pile number two. Messages from Isis, Horus, as well as. Oh, that's funny. You have Star Brothers as well as the Brother in Darkness. I'm going to look at the bottom deck energy, but you have overcoming negative energy with feminine power. And look at the card and just go ahead and take a look. We're going to read it from the book. And which one of these or this one? Hmm. Paradigm shift, spiritual rebirth or the merge. It might be. We're going to see because I don't know if I might be wanting to read a whole bunch for you guys or not. But we'll have to see because this is the divine. This is literally the divine as well as the galactic center. Well, the galactic center is the divine. So let's see. The Brother in Darkness, page 189. It reminds me of 99, so that can be of importance to you. On page 123, we have the Portal of Light, Divine Light and Grace. So I felt like I just needed to say that. Um, oops, skipped over. Oh, yeah, I really did. It's 189. Excuse me, that was my stomach. Definitely giving an energy of those lower vibrations though. Not lower, but lower chakras. Whenever negative energy is present, it is a sign that we are ready to move more deeply into our feminine divine power. The brother in darkness indicates that there is negative energy either within you or outside of you, but directed towards you that is providing you with a spiritual test. Beloved initiate, you shall overcome this energy with grace and triumph. You have triumphant, and I did just say something about grace. Stay in your heart. There is no need to be afraid. Look at this energy. Guidance comes to you in this oracle now to become more conscious of the negative energies either within or directed towards you without being fearful. There is no need for fear. There is just need for more conscious, loving response. Ooh, look at this. I have to read this story. In the story of Isis, the, the destructive emotions of her dark brother, Set, led to the murder of her beloved Osiris. He did not stop there. He also attempted to destroy her beloved divine son child and deny him his rightful rulership. This could resonate with you. Set teaches us that destructive emotions can gain awful power if we leave them unchecked and do not consciously respond to them. Isis teaches us that love, faith, persistence, courage, Intelligent and honest awareness can overcome even the darkest power. Let's read to him. Your guidance is to rise above fear, anger, jealousy, or hatred within you or directed towards you now. Period. This oracle also comes as spiritual revelation. Look, you even have spiritual rebirth. Part of your spiritual path is to honor the darkness as a way through. Look at this. In the depths rest the treasures. Part of your spiritual path is to honor the darkness as a way through to greater consciousness. To not fight against darker and potentially destructive emotions with force, but to allow them to be with compassion instantly removes the resistance that creates psychic glue and causes darker energies to get stuck within us. You literally have the card trust right here. It says trust your feminine values, whether man or woman, and don't believe for one moment that you are obliged to wear another's negativity for them. You are not. You may stand true in your purity of heart and be safe. If you do have negative energy rising within you, the same stands true. 
have compassion and witness it but don't believe that you have to identify with it it is not you it is just energy and feeling let it flow and it shall go so now th these are messages from the galactic center now that was from isis that was from isis and horus and the whole ancient egyptian pantheon but we're going to get some more from here as well as here because i feel like there's a message there's definitely a message here for you be sure to take conscious inhales and exhales because this is definitely some high vibration high vibrational energy for me i'm going to take that as confirmation as well it's funny how i started with this book but we're gonna go with the merge first we present to you a powerful activation on the power of merging the various polarities within yourself and the world around you in order to foster transformation firstly to begin we share that the third the three well wow i almost want to say three 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 the third dimensional reality is fragmented by way of design what this means is that this dimension is naturally split slash divided everywhere with different polarities and opposites spread across your earth game to reveal alternate aspects of yourself. The gateway of empowerment is discovered for the star seed who whom goes against these natural dimensional splits, which are illusionary in nature and begin to find commonality and unification in the opposite. This process to seek commonality breaks one free from any illusions of separation and opens into a higher level of consciousness to experience the field unification. This process of merging begins by connecting with two opposite poles on your plane in any form or some aspect of your life that is bringing challenge through your inner awareness begin to bridge these separate aspects of yourself through the seeking of commonality and seeing them as together rather than separate through this connection you begin to deconstruct the third dimension field of separation and open yourself into the field of the fifth dimension that is structured in connection and unity to merge is to upgrade your dimensional frequency and transcend limitation by resisting any attempts of polarity divide and rather see yourself in awe this in turn translates to the human shifting out of ignorance into divine wisdom. The arrival of this card can indicate that whatever might be causing adversity in your life right now is actually a divine blessing in disguise that is seeking to offer wisdom. Break past the separation game of the, th of the third dimensional consciousness and tap into the unified field of the fifth in order to advance your knowing and heal any form of karma. If you have if you are having issues from a relationship context, attempt to find the aspect of what you resist in this individual in yourself. Through these soul perspectives, you will determine that the human naturally pulls forth what is a reflection of themselves into their lives. This moment is divine and is providing you access to wisdom. In the depths rest the treasures. The additional meanings are wisdom, inner understanding, connection, expansion, dimensional growth as well as acceptance beautiful energy very beautiful energy palm number two okay i saw two one 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 on the timestamp it's giving definite balanced energies that's what i'm picking up on so let's read this spiritual rebirth and then i'm gonna let you guys go guys and gals i'm gonna let you guys go I do love you, you high vibrational, beautiful soul. And I do hope that you have a wonderful evening, day, night, rising, whenever you may be coming across this video. Let's see. For a spiritual rebirth, you have literal keywords are spiritual rebirth, renewal, transformation, protection. Literally, it's like all across your whole board. Transformation, protection, and immortality. It is time to send to the fires of transformation all non-beneficial residues from your multiple lives and all aspects of self that are now hindering your complete spiritual growth and expansion. There is no longer space for them as you expand into your true soul essence. Every microscopic 
every atomic part of you needs to embody and align with the blossoming, the bursting forth of your true being, your light being. The flames of the phoenix not only bring about transformation and renewal, but also surround you with the fire of protection and creativity. Recognize your immortal soul in its full expression that is unfolding now. Be, be prepared for the old you to die and the new you, the complete you, to rise up and flourish in its glorious dance of liberation and freedom. Now, literally, the last word was freedom and you got freedom right here. Might drop. <laughs> but okay, palm number two. I hope that this was helpful. I um, hope you enjoy. Be sure to give the video a like, comment, and subscribe if you feel called to, of course. And I will see you guys around. It's currently 2 2 1 on the clock. You know, one minute before 2 2 2. It's really giving the forward movement energy. Actually, I feel like we, I could just sit here with you guys until it's 2 2 2 so that we can end this note on a good note that you're in balance and going towards the right things and there she is it's currently two 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 on the clock so blessings to you pound number two <laughs> hey pound number three if you have chosen this angel light then this is your pile <sighs> let's see these are going to be messages from the galactic center bubble gum is coming to my mind <laughs> I was definitely getting this energy of release Don't want to let that slip my mind I was definitely getting this energy of release for you, pile number three But it's a, it's a high vibrational release That's what I'm picking up on It's a release that almost let you rise higher It's funny because angelite is condensed celestite that's been condensed for over like millions and millions of years so it's very because even celestite is a high vibrational crystal to condense it <laughs> and then it's already called angelite so it gives an angel of almost angelic protection as well but let's see we have some oracle we have two tarot here and some more oracle for you for some messages from the galactic center let's see what we have we have the divine matrix definitely giving me this vortex kind of energy like calling in something my left ear just started to ring you could be receiving downloads and it's funny because even we have the flower of life here and here it is right here so i'm getting this energy that you're being awakened you're being guided as well as what i'm hearing you have interconnectedness synchronicity as well as god incidences i do feel like you could be pulling runes for yourself or some runes could have come up for you very deep connections to the universal mind is what I'm hearing you understand the divine matrix quite literally you have a selective view that almost no one else has pawn number three of the world of the galaxy of the universe even the earth that we sit on now is like your perspective of that gives like such a god or goddess higher vibrational perspective that only you have i feel like you have such this synchronistic connection with galaxies is what i'm hearing so let's see <laughs> you have new blueprints i love how blue it is as well card number 38 which reduces to an 11 you could be a life path 11 quite literally life path three eight six is also what i'm hearing but you are right now in the current moment in divine connection with that of uh, this galaxy that we're in the milky way these are messages from 
the very center, the galactic center of the current Milky Way galaxy that we are in, I get the feeling that your soul has a connection to all of the epicenters of many galaxies. Not just this one that we're speaking on, which is the Milky Way's galactic center. I get this energy that even Andromedan, in the Andromeda galaxy, you are connected to that galactic center as well. It doesn't even have to per se. It could even be ones that our collective that we are in right now has not even spoke of before. Your dreams could even be saying these things to you. This butterfly right here is really, is giving this energy that it is about to transform. This butterfly is about to receive its next pair of wings. Hmm. We have card number 15 with Sandolphin. I love this energy because I do believe Sandolphin was one of the ascendant master angels that once had a lifetime here on earth to where they were given the opportunity to become ascended masters and choose to help the earth i do get this energy that this angel has come through and it's funny because we said something about that with the angel light here very high vibrational angel that's working with you in the moment allowing you to feel more connected it's funny because you have inner connectedness right here and it's more of that flower of life energy that seed of life energy the fruit of life as well is what i'm getting and this very high vibrational energies you might want to even do more research into the flower of life why it even is the flower of life even the fruit of life how it all began you know where does the root of it start all of that energy kind of correlates is what i'm hearing Oh, very beautiful. You have peaceful reunion. I love the blue energy as well as the galactical, universal. It's really given connections to black hole energy or even just galactic centers. You have reunions bring heal healing. Card number 41. Could even be life path number five as well. But with there being three lions here one of them is rare one of them is a white lion the others seem pretty generic to that of the 3d thinking but i do think that you yourself are very rare pound number three even for you to be connected to other galactic centers it's it's an energy even with the blue rose that's right here like where when do you ever get a chance to see a blue rose in nature even this energy of illuminance that's coming from the card as well. I feel like all of this is some form of you. And the sun kind of started to shine a little bit right when I said that. Like, that's you, per se. Pound number three. I feel like there is definitely this energy of peace being attained. Peace is going to be attained. You literally have a peaceful reunion. I feel like you may be having a... You might reunite with a part of your soul due to you even thinking about the galactic center of many galaxies that are around the universe currently. So let's get into tarot. You have spiritual union. We were just talking about a peaceful reunion and you coming in part with a part of your soul. And here we have this. And even with this cup right here, with the infinity symbol on it it really does give a universal abundant infinite love that could almost never run out always overflow with is what i'm hearing even with this right here like it literally looks like a galaxy to me it really looks like a galaxy and then right at the epicenter of the galaxy is the holy grail is what i'm hearing it's the cup of love Visica Pisces is so interesting because that's how even the flower of life started to begin. It started off with Visica Pisces and from then it decided to branch off. So it's definitely giving these energies right here. 
with this spiritual union and for the fact that it's green I do get this energy that your throat chakra as well as your heart are coming into union it doesn't even per se just have to be your throat chakra I feel like it's the truth something is the truth is what I'm hearing we have fancies this world is all one continued vision of fancy or imagination and it's funny because I was just kind of getting those energies like some may not believe the truth just because of this this world is all one continued vision of fancy or imagination imagination is very powerful if you didn't know it's even how most of the things that we look at came into being through someone else's imagination someone had to imagine these cards and then bring that to the 3d in order for us to see them currently in the moment even for you to be viewing this video through whatever kind of form that you may be viewing it it is currently 235 on the clock what does that reduce to 13 oh, wow what i don't even know why i just said 13 two three five reduces to a 10 <laughs> funny how i said 13 though because 13 is the death card which speaks of transformation and rebirth and then tens is endings and new beginnings which is funny because of reunion as well as union i also get the energy that you are one step ahead with the two three five hmm. we have third ray of creative intelligence do you see this energy of almost releasing the old and coming into the new it's almost so blatant it's scary but it's not scary because it's the truth and the truth cuts it cuts almost through that veil that thick thick veil and enables the truth to be shown is what i'm hearing these are messages from the galactic center of our milky way but for you pawn number three it's literally from what i'm hearing is all the galactic centers across the universe this is a very powerful energy to be in but i feel like all of them are helping you to be more of yourself be more of your creative self tap more into this intelligent self that you are innately we have moon you have another two you have two two three I almost want to say two 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 but we do have 22 you could have been drawn to pile number two but we have moon and soul here like we were just speaking about your soul and the things that could be happening to it you're literally gaining new blueprints for your soul is what I'm hearing these are messages from the galactic center your soul is literally getting an upgrade through some form of spiritual union or reunion we also have Vesta which is so funny card number 32 I don't know why I was seeing 33 I'm seeing 33 in my mind's eye but we do have 32 right here for hearth which just gives an energy of knowing that your creative fire your soul's fire is protected I believe that you can do the things that you want to do these i'm just channeling at this point this is what it feels like you have the fire to do the things that you want to do power three look at this energy you have portal doors are opening you decide rewards as well as wild card wow you're definitely going through a portal right now and these are messages from the galactic center to you pound number three like <laughs> within the next two weeks is what i'm hearing kind of energies like w whenever you may be coming across this video know that you are currently what i'm hearing is being initiated into a new version of yourself you have free will is what i'm hearing but I'm also hearing that this is something that's destined to happen. 
only thing you can really do with this process is almost slow it down. I'm also being called to probably read this from the book. Fancies as well as maybe peaceful reunion just because of how beautiful the card is. And we will see because that's the message for you, pound number three. And I feel it. Let's look for the book first because, oh, it was looking right at me. <laughs> so we have this as well as this. Okay. Let's look at fancies. Okay. It says, inspired by a range of opportunities and ideas, expressive challenges involving dreams and daydreams or altered states of consciousness, emotional confusion or indecision, overwhelmed by contradictory feelings, delusions, <laughs> yeah, delusions, a retreat into fancy, temptations or bribes, illusory goals, challenges of immediate versus long-term gratification. In the creative process, let your visions and dreams lead the way into deeper realms of your imagination and be prepared to express them. Rehearse and explore wild ideas in your mind before acting on them. Okay, these are messages from the Galactic Center. Centers. <laughs> so let's see. Peaceful reunion from my palm number threes. Okay, the peaceful reunion card is presented when loved ones from your past are seeking to commune with you in this moment. Is there an individual from your past that you may have had a fallout with or have not spoken it to in a long time? The arrival of this card might indicate that a time of peaceful reunion is approaching and a proper closure or new beginning might be on the horizon. Perhaps there is an old friend, teacher, family member, or even an ex-lover, whoever it might be. Know that in our cyclical universe, planets that cross and don't see each other for light years once again cross in the cyclical dance of existence. If you feel it might be inappropriate to connect in physical reality with this certain individual, this card can indicate for you to engage with them from the soul level instead. It's so funny because it's like literally right up, right, right above soul with the moon. Um, reach out through prayer or soulful communication and share any words from the heart for this being to receive. It's so funny because it's like all this green energy too for the heart chakra. An alternate meaning of this card can indicate that now is good time to connect with social groups or give gratitude to beings who helped you on your journey. Reunions bring healing. I'm kind of called to look at this new blueprints a little bit. But y'all. Oh my god, excuse me for that. I feel like that was a message that I should read new blueprints. They love having me read, but you know, it's I always complain about it, <laughs> knowing that there's a message, a real good message too. I have to whip out all the books just to get to this book. Okay, card number thirty-eight. Be the change. That's so interesting. Take action. Take a step, no matter how small. Ignite an upward spiral make a positive change ethics and compassion creating a ripple of light i love this energy be the change you wish to see is an empowering mantra to remind us that we can step up and create the blueprints for the world we want to know powerful meaningful changes starts with you today so let's see this card inspires action no matter how small that will create a ripple of light in the world. You are part of a bigger picture, a greater story, and your actions, your choices, your presence are making a difference. 
you have more power than you realize. Focus on what you can do and do it well. Change takes time, so make plans and start now. That's what we have for you. That's what we have for you, pile number three. I hope that the me I hope you enjoyed the messages. <laughs> Please be sure to give the video a like, a comment, subscribe if you feel called to. And this is what we have for you, pile number three. I love you. You're a beautiful soul, very intelligent, very tapped in. Will soon be more tapped in due to some kind of reunion that is orchestrated is what I'm hearing. So enjoy yourself. Be you. You know what to do. And I'll see you around. Hey, pile number four. If this is your pile, you have chosen this spirit quartz, then this is your pile. As you can see, I'm saging at the moment only because I really felt called to. So if this resonates, I do feel like you should cleanse your space as well. I was also hearing to work with selenite pile number four that's only if you feel called to that might only resonate with a few of you too so just working with selenite would be of good interest is what i'm hearing oh i'm really hearing um you're shining like a diamond pile number four that's very interesting to hear it's almost like when you put a diamond up under a real good light and then it shines facets, you're almost like a prism. I'm almost hearing like filtration. As light goes through you, you're able to split that light into multiple colors. It's like a prism of light kind of energy. Excuse me. It's definitely giving that. Um, those energies are flying off of you right now. They just almost came through the entire reading. But we're going to see what messages from the galactic center of our galaxy has a message for you. What does it want you to know right now in the current moment? We have some Oracle here, as well as we have Tarot right here. And then Oracle, some more Oracle. <laughs> we're going to see. And so the first card. Th was not almost like just talking about this energy of how you're like a prism of light almost like the light that comes to you you and you imbue that light you take in that light and shoot out something completely different and this is in, in such a high vibrational way that the galactic center wants you to know this it wants you to know that literally you don't have to see these things. You don't have to physically see these things with your three, I mean, with your 3D eyes, the human vessel's eyes. This is more of a higher vibrational, no higher dimensional kind of energy that's saying you do something completely different with the light. It's so interesting too because this is a seraphim's gateway, and a seraphim is a rank of angel. And I'm also getting that you're awakening to this either awakening to or this is something that's being heightened within your own energy you have voice activation angelic attunement and divine support so it's very interesting i'm also hearing that you have a lot of set you have a lot of sets of wings you have like three sets of wings which shows like your own rank within the angelic realm or just in many of realms in general this is really something that the Galactic Center wants you to know. And it's so interesting because I picked up on your light before this card even came through. This angelic presence, this literal angelic attunement. So let's see what else. Look at this. Oh, I, I, I'm, always, I'm almost surprised almost every time because we were just speaking about this rainbow light like you're a healer is what I'm hearing or you're going to be tapping more into these healing energies but this is innately through just the things that you do if you just walked around the block you heal something this does not have to be conscious action but I do get the sense that the galactic center wants you to know that you have this connection to the angelic realm you have this connection to higher dimensions to where 
your light heals through even the words that you speak is what I'm hearing let's see <laughs> it, it, it's a it's a um a joyous energy very joyous very happy very um synchronistic very um god incidence is definitely very like just divine you can see how the divine is working within your own life in some kind of way but you have angelic healing card number 29 like two healing cards and then you have 29 to 30. so we have progression plus healing as well as angels first three cards in your pile pile number four the colors are crazy the colors are so vibrant the galactic center is like if the galactic center could ever call on such a high vibrational being on the earth currently right now i get this energy that they would choose you pile number four they would not they but this the energy of if the galactic center wanted to give you a download or if just the angels wanted to work with you i feel like you're such a beautiful and open vessel to even just the angelic frequency or just angel healing in general even archangels seraphims cherubims all 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 just the whole ranking system you have planetary cycles and look at it's it's almost the same energy that i caught from the spirit quartz this energy that's up here that refracting kind of energy that um mosaic like kind of energy it says closing cycles completion and moving forward you literally have 29 to 30 the confirmation on that moving forward energy even like i said earlier if the galactic center wanted to channel through you per se pile number four you would be a great open channel for that or any just angelic frequency that wanted to work through you work with you for the earth's healing i feel like stuff like that is possible i feel like you may be about to be worked with when it comes to the angelic frequency and that's what the galactic center wants you to know stop i'm putting it in the very direction that it wants i'm just now seeing it i have to put it in the right way wait, wait. okay so we got 29 30 and 31. look at how much moving forward energy that is through just this angelic healing energy this divine support that you have maybe this is all just to let you know that you're moving forward to let you know that you've completed the cycle that you're about to walk into something new and the galactic center wants you to know this you have authority when it comes to tarot this is the emperor energy someone that can stand their ground someone that basically knows their shit i feel like you've mastered something you've come to a point to where you're um like you have such this leadership quality as well as what i'm hearing like the angels know to choose you for something is what i'm hearing they know to come to you like you have such this open energy and understanding what's around you very down to earth energies my right ear kind of rang hmm. you have inspiration with the ace of poetry this to me i believe is the ace of pentacles it could be the ace of wands as well just because of inspiration but it says it's reminding me of literally like i said downloaded energy but as well as an angelic download is what i'm getting i come in self-annihilation to cast off the rotten rags of memory by inspiration to cast aside from poetry all that is not inspiration so i definitely do get this energy that you're closing cycles and moving forward moving more towards the light is what i'm hearing enabling yourself to be more receptive as well pile number four i i truly i truly enjoy how divinely angelic this pile is and how much um winged 
angel frequency frequency is literally flying a flute could be important to you flute music or even that could be one of your divine talents is playing an instrument of some kind drums piano keys any kind of instrument literally your voice your throat is an instrument you could be someone that sings i get this energy that the angels could be giving you more inspiration when it comes to your divine talents currently in the moment either that or your divine talents are currently being healed so that you can express yourself in the world being this highly vibrational angelic being that you are someone that's very connected to the angels like you could have literally been what i'm hearing is one of the very first um like your energy connects to that very first angelic presence that was given to that of the 3d conscious you know i'm also hearing that you might want to even do more research into angels the whole processing the whole what they offer what they can bring things of that nature i'm definitely getting this light body ship as well something some form of merkaba like maybe you're about to get um sent to some kind of court in a dream or when you rest after watching this video or even before you might have been sent to some kind of court to where you were being um tested almost like especially with this authority kind of energy it gives like some kind of boss was bring you into a room to almost analyze your process to see if you were worthy for something i don't, I don't know why i'm getting these energies but it was a form of healing as well is what i'm hearing so let's see we have escape here a lot of threes i'm seeing a lot of threes which kind of speaks of communication collaboration togetherness by body mind and soul energy you definitely have the 12th house here which kind of reminds me of piscean energy the depths that life can offer because you do have this golden ratio kind of energies that i'm picking up on as well as the moon is here twice something is manifesting for you that's been within your soul's dna that's been within your whole genetic makeup is what i'm hearing and that's soon to be awakened is what i'm hearing as well we have cancer immerse another water energy that i'm picking up on so we've picked up on piscean as well as cancerian energies maybe with a little bit of um i want to say taurian as well as aries energies is what i'm picking up on there's definitely this phoenix rising energy as well or just this rising energy you are very protected i want you to know that yeah, i feel like you already knew that seeing how you have such an angelic team around you it's almost like you're a living embodiment of an archangel like you have such a a legion of angels that surround you that know of your power is what i'm hearing that know of your rank this could literally be subconscious the fact that you are a high-ranking angel currently walking the 3d plane you have well and orca elders it definitely gives an energy of connection to ancient energy you have share your song which is interesting because it's going right here up under voice activation frequency of sound and diving deep and it's funny because i was definitely getting those diving deep energies from this 12th house escape as well as cancerian energy there's something that's going to either you've already delved deep and figured out more about this energy but i do feel like there is some sense of knowledge that's deep within you that's either going to be awakened is what the galactic center is saying or there is this divine support that's going to come in for you that's going to awaken this healing allow you to close cycles allow you to have more inspiration to share your song definitely with this voice activation like your voice is about to be activated allowing you to share your song share your truth through this factor that you are protected by angels like i really get this energy that your soul is being healed in the very moment that we are speaking pile number four so let's see i'm also getting this temporal energy as well 
tempering your emotions, tempering your life. Let's read Angelic Healing. I'm kind of getting called to read this Seraphim's Gateway as well. So let's see, because literally there's angels all across this board. I'm also getting called to say Pillars of Strength as well as look at this i feel like there i've seen images to where there were rings of light behind certain angels heads or something like that but you know i don't know i don't even have my own research too much with angels and that of the angelic realm but i have this very true feeling that your soul understands it to the very root of what it is um why do i have this oh 29 I just saw a portal to cosmic knowledge, so I just felt called to say that. We have portal to angelic healing. Keywords, angelic healing, compassion, heart awakening, hope, support, and unconditional love. You have divine support right here, so support twice. Use this portal to access the realm of the angelic beings of light, and when you need soul healing, it is a portal to the healing angels. The declaration of intent, I gratefully accept angelic healing and guidance for my highest good. I'll read it again. I gratefully accept angelic healing and guidance for my highest good. I feel like the number five could be significant for you. Either you are life path number five or um, there's that Taurian energy that I was picking up on because that's that Hierophant energy being committed to something. So let's see. You have access to the angelic realm at any time you feel you need their healing, guidance, or support. Whether you call upon specific angels or archangels or simply call on healing angels, your call is always heard. Throughout your life, these guardians are at the ready to protect and assist you. Their greatest wish now is that you open your heart fully to cosmic love. You are more than what you see in the mirror, much more. The angels you, the angels have created an archway, a gateway to higher heart healing, rainbow light. <laughs> I feel like I was saying that earlier. Rainbow light, all the light rays, unconditional love, and a circle of protection is contained within this opening. I feel like that's all around you as well, Ponder. Before you have rainbow light, all the light rays, unconditional love, and a circle of protection around you. So reach reach out through your heart to feel its unconditional love open your heart and awaken your connection to source healing all that is an imbalance within you very beautiful energies I feel like i'm legit connecting with an angelic frequency or just an angelic being in general it's very beautiful eye opening so much light i feel like it's being just sent through me as an energy so let's see seraphim's gateway thought I could flip straight to it like a genius but we're gonna have to look at what number <sighs> one two four which really is one two three to me because I'm gonna see it on my way to it let's read what's on page one two three because I feel called to um oh it said you may have been lied to and told you aren't beautiful this isn't this card that I'm reading, by the way. This card, what card am I reading then? Sacred inner space is what I'm reading. This card is here to remind you that you are beautiful. And more importantly, you can create beauty in the world. Recognize that you hold the power of the universe within, and then you'll find your flow. I love that. It kind of reminds me of this inspiration energy. But now we're going to turn the page and be on Seraphim's gateway. Okay. I knew it. These vibrations are so high. <laughs> okay. The seraphim are the highest form of angelic beings who are said to radiate from the heart of source. They have been described in many different ways through the ages, but what is common is that the idea that a brilliant light emanates from them. I'm telling you, this is you. The word seraphim 
means burning ones. For in ancient times, light was associated with fire, as this was the main source of light within homes. These beings of infinite light are essentially divine love that is taking on an angelic form in order to serve the universe. When they have appeared physically, they have been described as having six wings. So very interesting. You see them right here. And they are known for their heavenly voices. In fact, miraculous planetary shifts are reported to take place when they sing. In the heavenly realms, they sing in constant praise of the Creator. Other angelic presences report to them with regard to their spiritual duty. As it were, it doesn't operate in such a linear way. But this is the best way for us to understand the process. If you, <laughs> if you have ever woken up hearing your name being sung, the seraphim have visited you. When they come to you, know that you are blessed to be in the presence of angelic beings that emanate directly from the heart of source. I feel like that's just you in general. Like, when you walk into a room, your presence and energy is known, kind of an energy. Even if it's not physically shown, I feel like people's souls understand who you are and what you are when you enter a room, pile number four. Their voices will help awaken the angelic presence you hold within so that you can support the expansion of the world. Okay, I'm going to read this. It says, visualize yourself immersed in golden light, then say thank you, mighty seraphim, for blessing me with your loving presence and for supporting me in awakening the angelic qualities I have within. So, your message. You are blessed to receive the light of the seraphim. Know that these beings of infinite light are singing your name in the heavens to unlock the power of your own voice. Angelic support surrounds you at this time. Know that you are safe, for you are being held by the presence of love. The seraphim are witnessing the glory of your being and activating your angelic qualities. You care deeply about the welfare of the planet and all her beings. In fact, you are hoping to make a great difference in the world, and the reason for this is you are carrying angelic light. Let it shine on the world around you. Boom. Now that was a very, very beautiful message for you, pile number four. I hope that you enjoyed. If it resonated, be sure to give the video a like, comment, subscribe if you feel called to. And I love you, very beautiful, beautiful soul, you angelic, beautiful soul. And I hope to see you around. I hope you decide to subscribe and stick with me. It's a very beautiful energy. But I love you. Hope you have a beautiful night, evening, rising, whenever you may be coming across this video. And I'll see you around.